When I first met Jean-Luc Godard, I wasn't so much aware of his films at the time. I'd probably seen Breathless and Pierrot Le Fou, and um, I knew, of course, who he was and who he still is. But um, I was not a great connoisseur of his films. And he called me and said, I am Jean-Luc Godard, you know, he has a bit of a Swiss accent. And then he said, I'd like to meet you. And I said, yes, whenever you want. And he said, okay, now. And literally like 15 minutes later, he was in my apartment ringing at the door and he was there. It was a nice moment because it was so quick. So I didn't have to prepare myself. He was just sitting there in the apartment and telling me that he wanted to do this movie with me. I was doing Heaven's Gate already and Heaven's Gate was longer than we thought. It didn't harm every man who himself, which was planned to do at the fall anyway. But Jean-Luc wanted to go and visit me. So again, that was a peculiar moment. Here I am with Jean-Luc Godard driving in the roads of Montana, taking him to this restaurant. And uh, at one point I asked him, do you want to just tell me a few words about my character, about what I'm supposed to do in the film? And he looked at me and he said, it has to be the face of the suffering. And I will never, I will always remember this, the way he said that. And, uh, and in fact, eventually, I think I saw Vivre sa vie, which has similarities to, with what I do in, in Every Man for Himself. And when I saw the film, I understood more the, the meaning of that sentence, of that line. There was a bond between, obviously, the two films. When he talked to me, you know, about this, the face of suffering, the sentence was so definitive and so strong and so telling and so, um, and moving in a way. It's all what you'd need as an actor just to, to have someone who, who make your imaginary world being complete and, and, and full. Ça va